security alert for Linux users. A critical vulnerability in UDISCs allows attackers to gain root privileges on major Linux distributions. Two local privilege escalation vulnerabilities were discovered. CVE 2025-6018 affects OpenSUSE Leap 15 and SUSE Linux Enterprise 15. PAM configuration. This allows local attackers to gain allow active user privileges. The second bug, CVE 2025-6019, resides in libloctep. It enables an allow active user to escalate privileges to root via the UDISC's daemon. UDISC is a default storage management service on most Linux systems. While chaining both flaws compromises SUS systems, the UDISC's flaw alone is highly dangerous. Qualys True Senior Manager Saeed Abbasi states, UDISC's default presence on nearly all Linux distributions makes almost any system vulnerable. Obtaining allow active privileges, potentially through the disclosed PAM issue, further lowers the barrier to entry. Attackers can chain these vulnerabilities for immediate root access with minimal effort. Although it nominally requires allow active privileges, UDISCs ships by default on almost all Linux distributions, so nearly any system is vulnerable. Techniques to gain allow active, including the PAM issue disclosed here, further negate that barrier. An attacker can chain these vulnerabilities for immediate root compromise with minimal effort. Quali's TRU discovered and reported both vulnerabilities. They developed proof-of-concept exploits successfully gaining root on Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and OpenSUSE Leap 15 using CVE 2025-6019. Admins are urged to patch immediately. Root access enables agent tampering, persistence, and lateral movement, endangering entire server fleets. Abasi advises patching both PAM and libloctep slash UDISCs everywhere to eliminate this attack vector. Root access enables agent tampering, persistence, and lateral movement, so one unpatched server endangers the whole fleet. Patch both PAM and libloctep slash UDISCs everywhere to eliminate this path. Given the ubiquity of UDISCs and the simplicity of the exploit, organizations must treat this as a critical universal risk and deploy patches without delay. Qualys previously discovered other critical Linux vulnerabilities, including PionKit in PolKit, Looney Tunables in Glyb, Sequoia in the kernel file system, and Baron Samedit in sudo. Following the Looney Tunables disclosure, attackers quickly exploited it to steal cloud credentials using Kinzing malware. Qualys also recently found five LPE vulnerabilities in the need restart utility. Technical details and security patches are available in the Quali Security Advisory and an open wall post linked in the description below. Secure your systems now.